Hello everybody and welcome back to Splatoon with me Robotic Lizard. We're back down in Octo Valley where we're now going to be having a go at Octoling Invasion. Kelp Dome Confrontation. Had a bit of a mix up with uh, the levels last time but now we should get be getting it right. Right, the zap fish is right at the back there. All the way over there. Right, so I have to find my way through this area here. Let's end our way through here. Ooh, looks like we've got company. Octoling sighted. Ah. So these, these blighters can turn into octopuses and swim in ink too. So they are kind of like squid. They have all of my abilities. I kind of like multiplayer opponents. But not as clever because, of course, not humans. Put a checkpoint here. Try inking yourself a pathway. Simples. Once you've played multiplayer, these guys shouldn't be a problem at all. Follow the trail of power rides. I've been doing that for quite some time already. Oh. Okay. That happened. Alright, there we go. Yeah. Although just like humans, it's pretty easy to get splattered by them all the same. Shouldn't take more than a few tries. I should blow that fish dead ahead. Nice. Right, are there any oop, need to get away from that. Are there any secrets anywhere around here? Well of course there have to be. There is something scroll somewhere after all. That may well be up here somewhere. Maybe along in this bit? I need to kind of explore around and find it. Oh, well, thankfully there aren't any areas that I've gone to that I can't get back from. Could this hold it? No. <laughs> Clearly not. Um, there's a... Alright, is this a... Check? Oh yeah. yeah. Of course, when I uh, die, it's also going to reset all the ink on the ground, including the ones between checkpoints I've already visited. So that's the thing. Now, funnily enough, this is actually going to be a multiplayer stage at some point. And so these top routes are going to be pretty interesting. This has to be the scroll in here, right? Nope, it's armor. Alright. I've completely lost where I was, but... Oh man, they've completely taken over this area here. Nice try, but you're not gonna get through me. Oh, I can't. <laughs> I can't get back from there. All right, let's keep running through here. See if we can find that scroll. Is this it? Again? No. We do still get Mevis graffiti ink with it. Of course, that does appear in the multiplayer stages. I didn't know it would appear in the single player ones as well. Hmm. This one's being a little tricky. If I hop up here, it shouldn't be that difficult. There we go. Now, head up there, but maybe I don't want to. Maybe I do. I don't know. I'll just go for it, see what happens. Oh, is that fish secured? Right. So, yeah. I can reaccess every single area of this, so I'm going to do that. Look around for the sunken scroll. And I may come back when I find it. Oh, well, no, that seems like good. Hmm. Yeah. I'll cut to when I find it. There it is. Nice. It's underneath those stairs. Alright, and we're actually pretty close to the end here. I just need to head up here. I need to become more fluid with this. Alright, and here we have the zap fish. Very nice. 
That's pretty cool. I'm actually looking forward to when we get that as a multiplayer stage. Because that seems pretty fun. Alright, that's uh, level 8 completed. Paradise Lost by Octo Angelo. Squid art puns. Right. Okay, I kind of just fell down there without meaning to. Uh, this is level 9 up here. So what I can do is just super jump to it. Any levels you've uncovered do become super jump points. Uh, I think I might actually upgrade some of this. I have spare stuff. I'm going to up this up. I have 300 spare. I'm going to do this first. I may as well just wait until I have 300 and get the rest all at once. So, unidentified flying object. Triple over Incopolis. Hmm. Ah. Is this the training course stage? It is. And so here is where we found that UFO crash over there. And that's actually the UFO pre -crash. Have we gone back in time? Is this time traveling? That's an Octo Striker. Beware the ink strike. Get out of the way when you see it coming. Hmm. So it is just as deadly as the one in multiplayer. Out of the way. It shouldn't be that difficult, to be honest. Just a case of patience and perseverance, right? Like the checkpoint. Hmm. Actually, I'm going to make sure I haven't missed the scroll because after messing around in this stage during the test fire, after it was uh, down for maintenance, I've come to notice a lot of spots in this training course, so I know where I should be paying attention to, and that's not going to be good. Only just managed to escape from that. Right. Fairly sure. I can't have passed it. So. He's aiming behind me. Nice bit of armor. Ooh, we've got a guy hiding down here. Nicely done. Your eyes peeled for ink. Lurking Octotroopers, inkling Octotroopers. Nope, that's not right. So I should be able to survive one ink strike with this. Oh, it's right on top of me. Not what I want. I should take out that guy. Got more stuff in these trees. Um, hmm. Oops, don't want to be jumping into that. Right, where could this scroll be? I'm fairly sure I've checked every corner of this section. So we're just going to move on. At this checkpoint. Oh, we've got a gusher here. Oh. Don't want to be standing in that. I'm not seeing any sign of it from up here. I'll be careful of that. And just get rid of all the pink around there with the uh, thingy. Oh, it will be here. There it is. That's convenient. All right, no more need to stop stop slow there. Stop searching around for that. Words. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's just take care of those. Bravo. All right. So this, that is the crashed UFO. There's another larger UFO at the top. Hmm. Where are those in strikes? 
And there's a lot of these guys just hiding around in here. Need to get rid of them. I knew you wouldn't disappoint. I don't disappoint. That's not a thing that I do. Grab that checkpoint quickly before it gets completely covered. Throw a bomb! That's what the training course wants me to do. That's close. Well, there goes the armor. <laughs> so yeah, it does protect you from death. Pretty much, that's its thing. Right, this guy's not going to get through here. Hopefully I can be out of the way soon enough. Take care of that. And where is this going to take me? Because the UFO's there. Can I not get caught by the ink strike, please? The UFO's right there, but this usually takes me up there. Unless it takes me on top of that. Which it does. Right. I'm going to switch to burst bombs for this. I think they'll be more useful. I'm just be covering the ground. Got some nice damaging hits on him. Right, there we go. Zapfish Ahoy! There we go. Pretty good. So we seem to have solved the uh, UFO issue. There's still the missing great zapfish issue, but we'll get to that soon enough. Right, so now that we've done level 9. It seems that some Arcterians can assume a humanoid form. These specimens have superior physical capabilities and are highly aggressive. High-ranking individuals have kelp on their heads, but what motivates them, if anything at all? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe we'll find out. But we have opened up the boss kettle. We've collected enough zapfish, head to the boss kettle. Will do. Up we go. Then we step. I didn't even read the level name. Maybe should have done that. What have we got then? Shooting the sneeze. I think that's it. Right. So, what are we dealing with this time? Again, I want to get some of this around the ground. Just in preparation. Can I just ink all the ro Nope. <laughs> Maybe not. Right, again, tentacle dude. With that kind of ricky shaped cross on the on the edge of it. Right. Nice shoes. Are you high ranking individual? You seem to have kelp on your head. Right, so how do I take out this guy? By hitting this, I assume? Alright, we, now we can jump over and attack this. Nice. Alright. Going back up. Getting more powerful. Alright, checkpoint. I just want to be inking the ground around here. Oh, that's not good. I'm going to be avoiding that. Oh, it's, you've got two things on different sides. Whoa. Okay, take out that one. And I need to go around the other edge and take out this one as well. And come up here. And death to you. All right. Yummy. 
final form, I guess. There's a lot of them now. How far around do those stretch? Is that three or four? Or more? Oh, careful. Right, got that one, and this one over here, please. Oh, that's powerful. Alright. Still tackling the, uh, the final form. Alright, nice. We didn't do the uh, spread out one. Managed to get far enough away from that. Oh, that's not quite enough. There we go. Let's go around and take all these ones out the side. And I should be able to jump up there. Nice. I think that should do it. Yeah, there we go. And here we have the Zapfish. And the scroll. And we can get these last power rates. Free this guy. And bring him back. Dreaded Octo Nozzle. That's what it's called. Right. Hmm? Fish. I fear the radio transmitter may be malfunctioning somewhat. At any rate, excellent work, Agent 3. Give it up. Alright. So, presumably, that lets us head over to the next area. Anti-octopus weapon prototypes. Oh, we've already read that last time. Okay. Right, so this power source comes on. And we can now... Or it breaks. Either one. We can now head through there. It's all becoming clear now. They must be using that fish to revive the great octo weapons. Right, so we can head through here. And up to this next area. Which is looking pretty nice. Nice cloud effect. I like it. Uh, and we're gonna try and find a uh, level 10. That's the one. The fact that the boss ones don't aren't numbered is a little a little annoying. But we'll go with it. What have we got up here then? That's 10. That's not 10, that's 11. I mean, it's 10 that we're looking for. Alright, so that must be another one of these. Alright. Let's we'll see what's going on up here. Anything? Is this the boss? Looks like it given the power cables. We'll have a quick explore up, anyway. Or not. Yep, this is the boss. Alright, I'll just activate this so we can get up there again nice and easily. Wait, can we? Yeah, we can go through both ways. Alright, what about up here? Level 10 up here anywhere? What's in here? Nothing. Alright. <laughs> it's fine, I didn't want anything anyway. No, we're still still searching for level 10. Wherever it is. Up there maybe? We can make that. Alright. Here we are, Increal Skyscape. Skyscape, yeah. Walking a fine line. 
I've got something to do four levels per episode, so this is going to round off this one. Right. So obviously we're going to have, be having a lot of ink reels to deal with in this one. And I nearly, <laughs> I nearly just ran in and fell off straight away right there. Gonna <laughs> press X when speeding through an ink reel to make a real leap. Ah. And still just uh, looking around very carefully to try and find any sign of the scrolls after the uh, the previous episode's really elusive one. Right, up through here, some train tracks for whatever reason. I love the, the mechanics that they introduce in this. I feel like some of them, like the ink rails, could actually do pretty good in multiplayer. If used sparingly enough. Right. Be careful. <laughs> Oops. Not what I wanted to do. Oh, I've got it. You better believe I've got it. Oh, there's another one here. All right, imagining things. I feel like the the scroll is gonna be underneath one of these, just hiding away. Maybe not this one, at least. Hmm. And hear it all. Nope. Take out that guy carefully enough. I didn't see the the other one there. Not at first, anyway. Right, anywhere else? Yep, let's just jump through here. This looks like the kind of spot where it's likely to be. Like hidden under here or something. Nope. Right, so from that we need to jump up there. We got these guys. Nicely done. Ah, uh, we need to get some of these done. Jump up there and up there. This kind of reminds me of the tightrope thing that they did in uh, Mario 3D Land. But we can actually come around here. Ah! Very well hidden. I like it. Something you might not notice at first. That was pretty good. That's it. Give it up. Very nice. And let's head up here. Man, am I going to have to jump right down in the middle of this? Looks like I am. Is that one a checkpoint? Is that an... That's an Inzuka. That's going to be another one, isn't it? Ahoy. Did we just go through those train tracks? What was that? Alright. I wonder what that says. No idea. Oh well. Let's keep going. Is that fish is up above? Oh, this could be done really smoothly. I'm gonna do it really smoothly. Smooth! Yeah! 
Right, well, that's going to about do it for this episode. After we take a look at the... The research notes. With the creatures of the surface driven to extinction by rising sea levels, the ancestors of the Inklings were free to haul their ten-legged bodies up onto the abandoned land. This is how the Mollusk Era began. Ah, so this is kind of some sort of dystopian future where the earth flooded and squids took over, apparently. Alright, well, that's going to do it for this episode. After you get a special weapon. Yes, I know. Thank you. Uh, that's going to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and post a comment letting me know what you thought. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I shall see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.